Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Merry Christmas Eve. And it's Thursday, which means we are going through one of our favorite plant-based cookbooks. This is a new cookbook that came out at the beginning of the month. It's How Not to Diet by Dr. Greger. You guys know that he was a huge impact in me starting this channel in my whole food plant-based journey because I really believe in science and all of the amazing work that Nutrition Facts dot org does and we are so excited because we've been loving this cookbook so for Christmas Eve I want to share with you our favorite desserts from the cookbook and these desserts are really awesome because especially for me I have a sweet tooth and so having something at the end of the night that kind of satisfies that sweet tooth but doesn't derail my health goals or my weight loss goals is really awesome and so these are three that I've been loving you'll find them underneath the fruit category in the cookbook and we're going to do three of them today because they're all so stinking easy that really this could set you up to have enough desserts to last you the week and you can already have it prepped and ready to go so at the end of the night after dinner if you just need something sweet you can go and grab it. So I really wanted to share with you this has been amazing and really an awesome quick treat to make. So we're going to go over three of them. Again, that's underneath the fruit section in the cookbook. And I already have it all labeled out for us. So we are going to start with the mango raspberry chia pudding. And we're also going to do the black forest chia pudding. And those two need to set up around eight hours to set overnight even if you can and so I made them yesterday so I'm gonna show you guys how to make them I'm gonna be set on desserts and then I'll pull out the ones I made yesterday to kind of taste test for you guys but these are super easy and really nice both make two servings and then we're also gonna make the ginger roasted pears which makes two to four servings and that's gonna be one you can make right when you want it. And so these are really simple and easy recipes. Again, I won't be posting the exact measurements if you guys have been following our Dr. Gregor Thursday. They're copyrighted. I really want you guys to purchase the cookbook. Really, it's just for me to preview the cookbook for you guys. You can get a good idea of how, many, how much is the amount and how the recipe works, but really go to your library or if you can afford it, purchase the cookbook. It is such a good pictures and recipes and everything's easy so I highly recommend this has been my favorite cookbook in quite some time from a plant-based um, person in the community and so we just have been loving it so really go and do that I will post the ingredients not the amounts on the screen as we go so we're gonna get started we're gonna do the mango raspberry chia pudding it's on page 195 of your cookbook it is beautiful. This recipe is so, they're all so simple and um, really packed full of flavor and just perfect for the end of the night sweetness that I personally crave. So get a high speed blender out. And I have all of the, everything's already like pre-measured and ready to go. So for the mango raspberry chia pudding, you're gonna need mangoes and raspberries and they can be fresh or frozen. I have them right here. We're gonna add those to our blender. Mine were frozen because here in Pittsburgh it's, you know, very expensive to find fresh fruit and frozen is awesome. So highly recommend getting frozen if you can't find fresh fruit in your area. Um, we're also going to add a little bit of water to this mixture. Don't leave out the water. Your blender will thank you. So even though it's not part of the ingredients, read the directions. There is water in this. All right, and we are gonna blend so easy, and then I do have some ground chia seeds that I'm going to mix in after it's blended. So I'll see you guys back in a second when this is all blended smooth. Once everything is blended through, it should be this really vibrant pink reddish color, and it's really so beautiful. So I'm just gonna dump this into a glass bowl so you guys can see it at home, and then I'm gonna mix in the ground uh, chia seeds now when I usually make this and I'm not filming a video, I just pre-measure these into mason jars. This makes two servings, so I would just measure out, you know, as even as possible and keep it in the refrigerator and then that way it's already pre-measured out for me. But just to kind of show you guys. And then this is going to set up for, you know, overnight if you can really is awesome. So again, I kind of like to prep a lot of these desserts and then I just have them I have a bunch of them ready to go for the week. All 
right, so that's all in there. So I will clean out my blender for the next one, but in goes in our ground chia seeds. I'm just gonna mix them in and then I'll just cover this and stick this in the refrigerator and like I said I am so set on desserts for quite some time which is perfect because you know if you're trying to lose weight in the holidays and you still want something a little sweet or something at the end of the night that's healthy this is a great alternative and then you're still getting a treat you know like everyone else says or if you are trying to lose weight um, with the new year as well. Keep this, keep these recipes in mind. All right. And you know, if you leave it out, it will thaw out and get a little bit more on the watery side, but we're gonna stick it, cover it and stick it in the refrigerator. You guys can see it's such a vibrant color. So recipe one is done. And so I'm gonna pull out what I made yesterday. So I made this yesterday, it's the same thing, and I just put it into these little mason jars that I found on Amazon with a lid. And this is so good. I definitely will make this a ton in the summertime for something nice and refreshing. It's snowing here, so you know I'm really looking forward to the roasted pears, but this is just a nice treat as well. It has such a nice balance between the mango flavor and the tartness from the raspberries and then the chia seeds also help everything thicken up i love it so i really hope you guys make this and we're going to move on to the next one the next recipe is the black forest chia pudding it's on page 198 and i have everything ready to go but this is super easy so i'm gonna add our water in first i find that that just helps our blender out a little bit especially with the dates and some other things in here and there is two pitted dates so this makes two servings I've made sure they have pits out of them you can soak those if your blender is having trouble processing dates or if they're not fresh that's a little tip I'm also gonna add in our cherries and these are frozen cherries or you can use fresh I'm gonna grab a banana half of a banana so let me grab that in goes half a banana, and to be honest, I'll just eat the rest as soon as I'm done filming this video. All right, and then we also have some cacao powder that's unsweetened, or cocoa powder, either one works. And I'm gonna let that blend up until smooth, and then we're gonna do the kind of the same thing with the chia seeds, fold them in, and I will show you guys what it looks like. But this one, let me tell you, I've made this a bunch and it's one I definitely can enjoy all year round. I love cherries and just the combination of, of cherries and the banana and the dates and the chocolate, what more could you ask for? Once everything is blended smooth, again, I'm gonna add it to a glass bowl so you guys can see it, but I already have one pre-made. Should be this beautiful deep red color from the cherries. And then you can stir in your ground chia seeds. And I like to measure these out into two servings just so I know beforehand. But especially with this recipe, the chia seeds definitely help it to thicken up. Let me show you guys and then I'll pull the one I already made. Definitely a deep red color. So I went ahead and made this again yesterday and I put them in the same kind of mason jar with the lid. It gets a lot thicker than the mixture here. If you are a chocolate fan, totally make this. The cherries and chocolate combination is a favorite here. All right, I'll show you guys. It gets a little bit more chocolate colored as it sits. It's really good. And again, you can find these on Amazon with the little lids. I get the wide mouth mason jars. 
Last one, I told you this is going to be a quick <laughs> quick video and quick recipe is we're making ginger roasted pears. So this makes anywhere from two to four servings depending on if you eat a whole pear or if you eat only half a pear. Um, I really just generally eat the whole pear when we <laughs> enjoy it. But it calls for some ripe pears and mine are on the smaller side so I opted for, for three and they're all ripe. Alright, and then there is some date syrup. Now, really his date syrup is date paste. If you guys have been following our channel for a while, you guys know that we make our own date paste. It's not the stuff you buy at the store. So even though he calls it a syrup and he has the recipe in the book, it's definitely more of a paste than the stuff you'd get at the store that's a little more liquidy. So I have that here. I also have some lemon juice that I'm going to mix in with the date paste. Super easy. And then I have some ground ginger. Alright, I'm just going to mix that in. This is so simple. I preheated my oven. We're going to roast these. We're going to paint these onto our pears and sprinkle on the ginger. And that's it. So I'm going to sprinkle on the ginger um, at the end. And so all you have to do is cut your pears in half. And then you just want to remove the seeds. You can kind of melon ball the seeds out. Really simple and easy. And again, mine are kind of small, so I'm going to do three that I have that are ripe. Right. All right, let me grab a melon baller, get the seeds out, and then we will paint the date lemon sauce on top and sprinkle on some ginger and bake them. After you've taken out the seeds, I like to brush on the mixture, and I just have this cooking marinade brush that we use in the kitchen and I'll just be pretty generous with the amounts that I brush onto my pears. And then I'm going to sprinkle on the ginger and they pop these into the oven and they're ready to go. So good. This is definitely going to be on our Christmas, Christmas dinner dessert menu this year. After I've glazed our pears, I just sprinkle on the ground ginger. And you could probably swap this out for cinnamon or any other kind of spice you like. And then really doing these three recipes sets me up for such a successful week. My husband's not really a dessert person, so these are all for me. And you know, if I only have one serving a day and I made three of these, I'm really set up for success for just grabbing them in the fridge. They're already made. It was super simple and easy and lets me have a treat at the end of the night. So I hope you guys will consider making these three. It really does make a huge difference. I've seen in my own personal weight loss and just in general is to be prepared and have stuff ready to go and then you can still have a treat and lose weight, which is awesome. So I will see you guys back at the end whenever these are all finished, but it's such an easy three recipes to try out. The pears are out of the oven and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So I really hope you guys will try these recipes. They are the perfect treat. It cuts beautifully. Alright. Here's the taste test. It like melts in your mouth. You get like a slight kick of ginger, but it is just so beautiful. And these would look beautiful plated for Christmas dinner or New Year's dinner. You know, you could bring out this beautiful tray of roasted pears. Oh my gosh. And you could add some pomegranates on your plate and really dress it up to be a beautiful presentation for your family. I know you guys are gonna love this. So Please make sure you check out the cookbook. Again, on Thursdays, we kind of review the cookbook on our favorite recipes that our whole family loves. Today we did three desserts that I've really been enjoying lately. We'll be back on Thursday next week with another recipe from this cookbook. I really hope you guys will check it out. We'll have it linked down below in our show notes. So if you guys haven't got one yet, please check that out. Um, we just adore it. I've been cooking from it a ton lately. So if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, multiple times a week. We'll see you guys on Sunday for the next video. 
Um, check out the show notes down below for our free Facebook group and all the other information on what's happening with us. And we'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of uh, my pear, pretty much her breakfast because I'm filming this. And then I'll save the rest for, for dessert. But literally, I have dessert for a, long, for a long time now. I'm set for the week. So I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.